I have analyzed the market and I've found a way to predict when the bull market will return. You may not know me, but let's get something very clear from the beginning. I'm not just some solo entrepreneur. My name is Ben Simpson and I'm the founder of Collective Shift and we've raised over $1.5 million to bring crypto research and education to the world. We're not selling courses or affiliate programs or advertising. We are a research platform to help you go from where you are now to actually winning in crypto through quality guidance and information. I've seen way too many people get led down the garden path by crypto gurus and scammers trying to take their money. And I'm so passionate about genuinely helping people in this space that we create a collective shift to help people like you. So now that you know I'm not a crypto shark, let's dive in so I can show you the positives and negatives of where we are right now and when the next crypto cycle and the bull market will return. So the team and I have found five unique metrics that give us the best indication to predict when a bull market is going to return. The first one is the drawdown from all time high price. The Bitcoin price drawdown from all time high chart is often one that is overlooked. As you can see on this chart, you look where we are right now compared to previous cycles, we're at very similar levels from bear market prices. Usually what happens in bear markets is the Bitcoin price goes down anywhere between 75 and 90%. In previous cycles, it's gone right down to 90% and where we are right now is around that 75 to 80% mark. This gives us a really good indication of how deep we've gone in this bear market. Now, as we overlay this chart with the other four charts, it's gonna give us a great realistic view of where we are. The next one is one of my favorites. This is called the MVRV ratio. It's a complicated one that I'm gonna break down with you. We have one of the leading on-chain analysts here at Collective Shift. And he breaks down the MVRV ratio as an amazing way to see when Bitcoin becomes undervalued. As you can see here in the orange, this is average price of Bitcoin held by people that have already bought Bitcoin. In the black, you've got the price of Bitcoin. And in the dotted line below, that is the ratio. When the MVRV ratio sits below one, it is historically shown an amazing accumulation point to get undervalued Bitcoin. Every time the MVRV ratio goes below that $1 ratio, we get a spike and increase of prices. If we zoom out, we can see the $1 ratio line has gone below down four or five times since 2012. And every single time the price has increased in the days and months following. Most recently, this happened in December last year when Bitcoin was at $16,000. Bitcoin then rallied over 80% to around $30,000 in the weeks and months following. Once this ratio went below $1, Matt, our head analyst here at Collective Shift, put out an alert to our members to say we're buying. And this was one of the biggest reasons why. And we're able to gain an 85% increase in just a matter of weeks. So now we've got the drawdown of all-time high prices. We've got the MVRV ratio with on-chain analysis. We now overlay this with our other areas of the market. The third sector, which we are keeping a close eye on is the stable coin market. Often overlooked, the stable coin market is one that's continuing to grow in size, even through this bearish conditions. The stable coin market cap consists of stable coins such as USDC and USDT. It's a fantastic metric to show us the on-chain movements of stable coins within the ecosystem. As you can see here, there was a huge run up during 2022 of stable coin volume. But after this, as you can see, the stable coin supply has held pretty strong during this bear market, showing us that the on-chain movements and people utilizing stable coins continues on regardless of prices of Bitcoin. I use stable coins in my business to pay different employees and people within my ecosystem. And it's an amazing way to transmit currency. This all backed on chain instantly with little to no fees is one of the best use cases for crypto. Now, number four, as I mentioned previously, a big one is the M2 money supply. This is the amount of liquidity central banks have put into the economy. The M2 money supply and the Bitcoin chart is one that is directly correlated with the growth of Bitcoin. This is because as money flows into the economy and people have more access to capital, it tries to find more risk on assets like Bitcoin. As you can see here on this chart, the M2 money supply has been in consistent growth since the 1960s. But more recently, the US money supply has fallen at the fastest rate since the 1930s. You can see this huge drop off in the last few years. This is a key reason why crypto has entered a winter because there's less capital and less global liquidity trying to find a home. The M2 money supply team is one that's really, really important to understand. Look at that nosedive in the last few years. As I said, this has been the worst it's been since the 1930s. As this turns around, I fully expect Bitcoin to come back as money finds its home. And the last but not least, is the long-term Bitcoin supply chart. This makes me so bullish because I'm a part of this chart and maybe some of you. This chart is showing us the amount of Bitcoin held by holders that have held for over a year and it continues to go up and to the right. This chart showed us a new record in September, 2023 with 76% of supply held by long-term holders showing us a record number of people with high conviction stacking Bitcoin. As you can see as well, when price increases, 
the amount of long-term holders decreases, showing you the amount of new interest coming in and buying new Bitcoin. So putting all these charts together, the four-year super cycle and the halving gives us the best indicator of when a bull market's going to come back. It's hugely dependent on the M2 money supply that we predict in the next six to 18 months, we will start to get an inflow of new capital. Interest rates will come down, but also overlaying this with the increased long-term holder supply of Bitcoin, there is less and less liquidity of Bitcoin. It's not gonna take much, for example, a Bitcoin spot ETF to fuel the retail interest to come back, the narratives to start to come back to crypto, and people trying to access a very limited, scarce resource like Bitcoin, it's gonna push prices absolutely to the moon. And that's why I think this next bull market is going to absolutely melt faces. So those are the five charts that we keep our eye on here at Collective Shift to give us the best indication to predict when the next bull market is going to occur. These charts continue to give us more data and we'll keep updating you here on my new YouTube channel to keep you ahead of the game. So head over to my other videos, consume them, learn, educate yourself, and let's win together in this next crypto cycle. I'll see you on the next video.